Hi YouTube, welcome to the, this video series. Um, well, I'm going to start by telling you what this video is about. This video is for use of OpenFoam, which is a CFD software, open source CFD software. Uh, so if you cannot afford console, uh, spend thousands of dollars on that kind of stuff, and you want uh, to do use some CFD software, computational fluid dynamics, then OpenFoam is one of the uh, most widely used open source choices. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So this video, yeah, this video is for those who, you know, they, they are Windows users like me, they are Windows users, and we have uh, installed Windows subsystem for Linux. So this is the bash, which is uh, the bash command shell, which is similar to the command prompt for Windows, except this is for lin Linux. Now, um, if you are new to Linux, new to OpenFoam and all that kind of stuff, yeah, this uh, video series is for you. But there are a few things uh, you should have done before this video. And first, you should have uh, installed Windows Subsystem for Linux and OpenFoam. You can use either OpenFoam 6 from OpenFoam.org or OpenFoam v, uh, v1812 from openform.com. So either of this is okay. So what are these two? These are basically uh, parallel uh, versions of the same software. They are developed uh, differently, but essentially their purpose is more or less the same, unless you are going to do some really advanced functions. And the other thing you should have installed on your computer already is Paraview. So uh, it should be installed on Windows. At least that is my setup. So Paraview, which is this, uh, it should have been installed from paraview.org. So all these links that you see on your screen here, I'm going to put inside the video descriptions so that <coughs> uh, so that you will be able to find out what you need to do. And there are several other videos that talk about how to install this as well. So um, of course, the other prerequisite you also need to know, uh, you need to know some basic heat transfer and fluid dynamics. Yeah, otherwise, why would you want to use an uh, open form? Yeah, this is CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics, which means you have you should have some basic idea of what uh, heat transfer and fluid dynamics are about. So, assuming you install open form, your que the question now is, uh, how do you run it? Well, you can see, yeah, it's uh, probably not uh, open form is not very user friendly because uh, it's run by this command line that you see here, which is called bash. So, uh, probably if you are watching this video, you're probably at a very st a state of uh, cluelessness and probably you are very intimidated by this software. And that is normal, that's okay uh, when you start. So, sometimes the best way to start, we want to start looking at worked examples. And thankfully, OpenFoam has a suite of worked examples in their tutorials folder. So, that's where we'll start. So, this is the written guide I'm uh, referring to. This is uh, something I've typed out um, to you know, document my learning. And this is something I want to share with you as well. So in the first part, we want to navigate to the uh, tutorials folder. Now, the basic command we want to use is called cd, which we can remember as change directory. And for navigating around uh, Linux, we want to uh, know at least these three commands. It's called cd, which is change directory, pwd, which shows us the current directory, and ls, which shows the files in the current directory. So again, this is for people who are not familiar with the Linux, and they're just jumping from Windows 10 straight into using OpenFoam. So this is, helps to ease the learning process. Anyway, um, yeah. We'll be using these three commands very often. So yeah, don't worry. We'll learn the Linux commands as we go along the way. So part one, we want to navigate to the tutorials directory. So we'll do this step by step. First, we will use the command cd to go to the opt folder by typing this command, cd forward slash opt. So let's try that on Linux. On bash yep forward slash opt so we can see that we are in the opt uh, window 
So remember, uh, we want to look for tutorials here so that we can like, you know, get ourselves started on using open phone. So opt and let's see, let's see what's inside this folder. Well, you can see uh, if you install uh, openform.org, if you install openform.org, you should be able to see these two files, openform dev here, just here, and openform 6. So <coughs> both of these files come from openform.org. And then this open capital form, this will be the one from openform.com. So in my course of uh, getting the software installed, I was very confused. So I kind of just installed everything. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the one I'm using now is openform, the one from openform.com. So we'll navigate to that folder. So again, let's go CD, open form. CD space open form, and we press enter. And that's how we use the change directory command. So we're going to use ls again to list out uh, what we have here, what files are in this directory. And you can see it's open form v1812. So let's go cd open form dash v1812. And then you have navigated to this folder. So you see all these uh, files here. And you look, you see, you see that we have our tutorials folder. So okay. You can use the same thing again, cd tutorials, press enter, and let's use ls to list out again whatever files we have. So congratulations, you found yourself in the tutorial folder. Okay, so we want, do we want to print, how do, if you want to print out our, the directory here, we can use this term called pwd, or this command called pwd. So it kind of prints which directory you are currently in. So print which directory. That's how I remember it anyway. PWD, print which directory. So I'm going to press enter. And it's going to list us this thing. Forward slash opt open form. Forward slash open form dash v1812. Uh, forward slash tutorials. Now, there's a shortcut to navigate to this uh, to this directory so I want to show you one of the ways so um, anyway let's navigate back to our our main folder so to do that we will just uh, type CD press and we will find that we are in our do default folder so now I want to navigate to the tutorials folder without going through all that steps so with this PWD command you can uh, see the directory here can see the directory here and you just copy and paste so i'm going to type cd space i'm going to copy this so the copy that i'm talking about is a control c control yeah control c kind of copy so i'm going to type control c and to paste you normally can't use a uh, control v so i'm just going to right click so that was a right click just to make myself clear so cd and then this directory, press enter, and you are in the tutorials folder. So I'm going to type ls to show us where we are. And the other way, the other very smart way of using to navigate to this directory, if you forget all that. Okay, just ignore that. Okay, the other way, I'm going to type cd. I'm going to type cd dollar form tutorials okay form tutorials that's how we do it i'm going to press enter and you'll be in exactly the same folder now why does that uh, command work well if you install open form uh, using the instructions of openform.com or openform.org you will be able to uh, set this up you have already set this up by default so uh, <coughs> these are some of the ways you can navigate to the tutorials directory. So now we are in the tutorial directory. What do we want to do next? Well, to explore some of the basic usages of uh, OpenFoam, we want to go for the simplest case possible. And what is the simplest case possible in terms of uh, theory and maybe computation? Uh, we will want to uh, you do something about in 
incompressible flow problems because incompressible flow is a very easy thing to model. So I'm going to go to the incompressible flow. I'm going to type CD incompressible. Now, if you don't want to type out everything, just type out the first few letters of that, uh, that uh, what do you call that? The folder name, and you're going to tap, press tab, T A B, tab, tab button, and then that will finish it for you. And you can just press tab. So I'm going to show you again. CD dot dot takes you up one folder from incompressible to the tutorials folder. So you see. So I'm going to try that again. CD incompressible. I'm going to press enter. Now you are in the incompressible folder. So let's take a look at what we have inside this folder. Now what do you see here? We see lots of uh, uh, lots of solvers or lots of folders. And um, I suppose one of the the more common commonly used uh, um, tutorial files is called the cavity file. Now this cavity this cavity file is from um, the incompressible folder. So what the solver is, the solver normally used is icofoam. So can you see icofoam? It's over here. So I'm going to press CD icofoam. And what does icofoam stand for? Well, for me, I just uh, sort of think of it of an as an incompressible solver. It is an incompressible solver. Uh, Ico, I will just uh, associate it with incompressible. So CD icofoam. Enter. I'm going to list out the files here. And look at that. We see where the cavity file is. So we can just type primitive directory pwd and that will give us the address. So um, that's how we navigate to the uh, tutorials folder and specifically the, the cavity folder. Okay, of course, uh, if you want to take a look at what other things we can do with OpenFoam, you can go to the tutorials folder. So I just type cd dot dot twice. I'm going to uh, press ls and take a look. What can you do with OpenFoam? You can solve compressible flows. You can solve uh, Lagrangian problems, which is very good. So let's take a look at what's in the side the Lagrangian folder. Yeah, look, take a look. We have a cold chemistry form here. I co uncoupled with a kinematic parcel form, which uh, kind of tells you um, we can use open form to solve some chemical reactions, which are very good for chemical engineers. So yeah, as a chemical engineering chemi undergrad. Uh, and now I'm doing grad, uh, graduate studies, of course. But anyway, um, yeah, it's very useful. So you can see the some of the capabilities there. And if um, you if you want to do heat transfer, it's over here. So look at the CD heat transfer. So I just tap tap for that again. So these are the some of the solvers that are available. So uh, I'm just going to take you through the tutorials folder to just introduce you to what what's available here. And look at that, we have a multi-phase as well, over here. These are for multi-phase flow, mean, meaning to say maybe there's some gas mixed with a uh, liquid, and that will be a multi-phase flow. So CD, multi-phase. Look at how much things we have there. So we go back, I'm not going to explore that in the video. video. And the last one is quite interesting, I thought was the combustion folder. And look at that. Uh, these are some of the solvers and folders available for us to calculate the you know, flame trajectories and all that. But um, I'm not going to explore that yet. So yeah, this is just an overview of the tutorials folder. And probably what we want to do is to uh, kind of learn how to uh, write the code by examining the tutorials file and see how the open form code is right. Uh, written and probably learn how to modify and write our own code from there. So that's the general strategy 
uh, use when you want to approach learning open form. So that we will discuss that more in the next video. Thanks for um, watching this video, uh, exploring, uh, exploring the tutorials folder. I'll see you again. Bye bye.